It's over there you've got Roboro Hill Fort. I tried taking pictures with the camera of the people on the top of the bosom of the hill fort. Um, trying to hold it steady but now if this was my Sony that would pick those people out. Could be that group of youths I seen earlier up there all having their photos taken and probably having a picnic. Yeah, that's the bosom. Like I said, I was up there not that long ago, a month ago maybe. I've got it all logged. I walked all the way along there and all the way down there. And then I entered Roborough and went up that way. Yeah. That's where I got off the bus. The 51 last time and that's when I did the hill for it. Right, so got the time, it's about 12 o'clock. You've done very well. I only, I got off that bus at half past 10. Got off the bus at half past 10, so I've done very well. And I would say I was on target with, if I'd done it the other way around. I've taken off one of my tops now uh, to keep it for later. I've also brought a very light windshield in case it's chilly, because you never know if buses are delayed or... Do you know what? I used to talk about cows a lot. Do you remember that, folks? But because I tend to have planned all my trips now where I don't go near cows, the ca uh, it's buses I've taken over. <laughs> That's the thing. Sometimes I don't mention it at all, and I'm going to try not to mention it at all now. At all online today. No, I've got lots of time. I've got six hours if I want to to get the last bus, but I doubt if I'll do that. I quite like the four o'clock, 20 plus four one is my favorite. And I, like I said, I didn't want to go mad. I mean, in theory, I've got enough time to go right across the top there and back through Longwood and all that, but. No. I'm half tempted. It's true. I am half tempted. Right then. I got a feeling. Yep, yeah, this is the track we're going to go up now. There's another one round the corner that we do quite a lot, but this is the one I'm going up now because I'm looking out for a point where another track joins that beautiful one that I was on about. So I'm going up here on purpose. I've got a feeling I've come down it before. It's not totally new. This is a gorgeous spot, isn't it? Roborough Hill Fort right over there. And the sunshine with the people on it. Yeah, young people. Still on there. Probably that group I saw earlier. They have different places where they have to rest and have something to eat and everything. They're quite sensible with people. Um, they could have done the hill fort, I saw them earlier, possibly they've done the hill fort and then they'll be making their way down that way. They might be going to Charterhouse and heading across the area of Outstanding Beauty, they might have quite a hike yet. But it's always good to do it in stages. Yeah, so off we go. I'll do a little bit uphill, but before I do I've got to turn off. To take Making my way up this little track. I've just had this feeling, it's the tall pine trees back there, that this might actually be the track that I was going to try out and that it'll run into my, my, my pretty track, my special track over there. I've just got a feeling this could be it, but I'm not dead sure about it. If not, I'm sure it's a possible, because nothing else comes down. I've just come round. Nothing else comes down. This is the first track that comes down to the base there after I've walked round. So all I'm thinking of, because just over there is the, the coom I'm, that I like, my special coom. Happy coom, the a girl called it, a horse rider. She called it her happy coom. 
and I, I just wonder if this one's going to meet into it. I just think it might be. This might be the one. Like I said, I didn't want to go up that one and down because I would then know I've got to come up again. And I'm not a 20 year old. Look at that scene though. Look at the greenery. Isn't it fantastic? I'm going to have to stop again folks just to take a picture of this absolute beauty here. I'm going to have to stop just for a minute. I have just got this feeling that these, this is going to merge with my special track. My special coom, I reckon it is. I reckon this is the one. In a minute it's going to be over there, I reckon. I don't know, might not be. But we're going up, that's the main thing. Like I say, it might not be. Maybe a bit further up yet. Yeah, yeah. What it is, when I'm over on the other track, I look over and I see these obstacles, these pipes and stuff. So, yeah, it's a bit further over. And normally, the other coombe is the other side of that, those things, that fencing and that. Yeah, we are going to merge up here. We are. Yeah, we are. In a minute we will merge, just as the one. It could be that you just go over there to it. See what I mean? That could be it. Yeah, I don't know what they keep in those drums over there. I don't know what one, any of that is in there. No. All I know is we're going to link up with the beautiful Coombe without any struggle at all. I thought it would be. And I knew it wasn't going to be a massive walk. I didn't want to do a massive walk anyway. This would be just right for me. This would be just right. I'm not going to rush. I know I've got loads of time. I'm going to make the most of this beautiful and you're not supposed to be talking about the bus, Sheila, remember? Yeah. There's so many parallel tracks. And I'd done a, quite a lot of exploring the, as well when I was over. After doing the hill fort last time, I was wandering around all over there. So I put two and two together. Look at it. Look at it, everyone. Of course, I see a lot more with the naked eye as well. You can hear the bees buzzing. This place is full of life. I can just take my hat off for a little while. It can get hot actually with the hat on. It's mainly to keep the very, very fierce sun off your head. But here, I don't need it on. I'll just carry it for a minute. Let my head breathe. Well, I've had a banana and a chocolate bar so far. Two things that do sort of start to wilt. I've got two oranges, a packet of cheeselets, a yogurt bar. Um, cheese and tomato. Got cheese and tomato. I'm probably going to go through the big gates today and across, and that's the cows right out in front of me. We'll see. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's gorgeous, and it's gorgeous to be able to explore the merging routes and things like that. And the greenery and the ferns are obviously now really, the ferns are in their element now, growing and growing. <sighs> 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 yeah, 
Yeah, all I want to do today is a gentle walk. Not too much hill, which is what I've done today. Uh, hardly any hill. Um, on the way back, across piney slides. No real hill. No. I've got to go down a bit. This is nice. There might, there might possibly be a slight incline in a minute. It won't last long. After what I've done, two lots of Quantop visits in just over a week. Two Quantop visits up and down big hills. Really big. But worth it. See, tomorrow you're supposed to be getting nice weather, but there could be thunder and some rain. Well, I don't go out in thunder. I thought I'd made myself come out, even though I know I could have done with a, perhaps another day's rest. I thought, no, get out while you can. Our summers are so short. I come out all year. I'll be out here anyway. But the thing is, I love being out here when my bones are warm. And it is good. What's good about this is um, keep him moving. I'm still not sure if I am meeting up with that coom, you know. I reckon that when there was a track that went off a minute ago, I think that was the one that joined. I think it is over there, but the one I would have gone through would have been that way. It must be, because I don't know where else that would go. There weren't any other tracks coming down. No, there weren't. Not many coming across. Sure now, but it doesn't matter because the more I explore, look at that big spans of trees over there. Look, they're gorgeous, aren't they? I can see a sign there as well. But my coon will be down there, definitely. I'm skirting around it. Look at those trees. of it all. The right hand shell. And out. So beautiful. So beautiful. I need to take a picture over now. We haven't joined up with our coom yet, but I know it's over there. We've joined up with us. I don't think I've ever been here. I don't think I have. Hat on, Phil. Don't need the heat. Yeah, I don't think I've been along here. But I could have done it. Could have been right. when they... Just like a change of battery. Look at all these lovely little trees here. Growing. Yes, and I am exploring. It's good, isn't it? I don't think I have been up here, but like I said, if it was winter, this would all be died down, see? Oh, it's nice when you get in the shade, though. Dark in there, isn't it? Listen out for dear Sheila.
if you wonder where you're going, doesn't it? <laughs> I often see those sort of little ladder things in the... Is it going to come out? Somewhere over there. Yeah, there's like a ladder. I don't know why that's there. Whether it's a lookout post. People are bird watching. But like I say, you can go off track like this. You'll always come back on a bigger track. Hopefully. I say, I don't know if I've ever done this or not. I'm now beginning to think that this isn't the one that I thought it was. See, there's all sorts of things curving around, isn't there? This is where you, it's good to leave the extra time when you're doing unplanned exploring. This is unplanned. I've never seen this fence before. I've never been there before. It's so weird. You think, God, I went far away from me, my little coom and now I'm here. Going up another little incline. <sighs> Fenced off with water hose pipes or electric cables. <sighs> Could be electric cable. <sighs> Maybe my coom would be down there now. All I've done is walk right round it, I think because we're still sort of going that way. <sighs> yeah, we're still, that looks like electric. Electric something in there. Right, I'm gonna turn off for a little while. Right, I've got up the hill and this, I'm up close. This is an electric fence going round here, but I don't know what these pots are for. They're numbered. Got no idea what they are. I know there's a bird feeder, which I always say is like Cromwell's hat. If you, if you look in there, I always say that's like Cromwell's hat. That there, look. I've seen that? That's usually down the bottom of this track. But what these are, I don't know. Fermenting something in. Now I still reckon if I walk through there, I'd come to my comb. Quick, don't do your eyes funny, you know. When you look in this darker wood, when you look in this darker wood, we just go over a bit, actually, because I quite like it. Oh, that fungi there, look. It makes your eyes go strange, because you're suddenly in brightness. I don't want to go too far because um, I just reckon my comb is down there. I reckon it is. I reckon my comb's down there, but I don't want to go down in it exactly. Not really. But I reckon that is my comb. bet you anything it is. Right, as far as you can go, just go down to that log. If I suddenly see some pink netting, yeah, I mean, look at those. From there, so many of them. I wonder what they are. Do you think they generate electricity? My comb. This place is full of mystery, isn't it? I can see. 
see somebody walking. Yeah, she's over there, so I'll go back. I'll go back. seen somebody. It's a mystery, isn't it? Turn it off for a minute.